Not a trailer or even a single clip of this new documentary has been released ahead of its debut today, but that has not slowed the buzz behind it as police prep for demonstrators and possible threats. Premiering today at the Sundance Film Festival, Leaving Neverland, the new potentially damaging documentary about music legend Michael Jackson. This is a movie that everybody's talking about. It's probably right now the most talked about film at Sundance, and that includes a lot of big features with a lot of big stars in them. The film about the beloved icon, so contentious, police are on high alert and bracing for protests. We're ramping up our efforts uh, with having additional officers, additional security, just in case. Debuting at Sundance before airing on HBO this summer, the Jackson documentary features two accusers who revisit child molestation claims against the iconic performer. Really for me it's about awareness and uh, towards you know helping survivors and, and prevention. Wade Robson, befriended by Michael Jackson when he was a boy, spoke to TMZ. I can't change what happened to me, but what I can do now is try to make a small impact. Robson and James Safechuck are at the center of the documentary, but the Jackson estate is pushing back, saying both men testified on behalf of Jackson during earlier trials, then unsuccessfully sued his estate, calling this yet another lurid production to exploit and cash in on Michael Jackson. But the documentary may include new voices. There's going to be a lot more than just two people talking about what happened to them. Acquitted of child molestation charges years before his death, Jackson supporters are flooding social media, calling for a boycott at Sundance. Today, a new documentary fueling fresh protest amid past allegations, still haunting one of music's biggest stars before and after his death. So, Miguel, how much do we know about what else is going to be in the documentary? Well, Craig, not a lot. Sundance only released a very short description of the documentary, but today we're told it may be as long as four hours, and we'll also hear from those very close to Jackson who allegedly knew what was happening behind closed doors.